Hi and welcome to The Property Show. This week we are in Laikipia County, the county with a spectacular backdrop of the snow-capped Mount Kenya, the oasis of opportunity. Today's lineup highlights an in-depth coverage of this attractive destination for holidaymakers as well as property developers. The accessory spot is all about potted plants for every space. Sit back and let's get started on this thrilling tour of Laikipia County. As always, there is something for everyone. The property show is in Laikipia County, an attractive destination for holiday makers as well as property developers. We kick off with a strategically positioned luxury home in a country resort. This property feels like we are walking into a magazine. Let's have a look. Mayan, a great investment opportunity in Laikipia County. Mayan is an upcoming exclusive development located within the cosmopolitan town of Nanyuki, consisting of exquisite pool villas with majestic views of Mount Kenya and Roydaga Hills. The property is situated 5 kilometers off the Nanyuki Doldol Road, 20 kilometers north of Nanyuki town where one can find all the major banks and shopping amenities. We are back at Mayan Luxury Homes in a Country Resort. The property show was here from the groundbreaking ceremony. Phase one is now built and occupied, and I can confidently say they have delivered the promise. Thank you so much, Joanne, for hosting us. Thank you, and it's so good to have you back here. Talk to us again about this project. All right. And where we are. Yes. <laughs> you came in July 2014, yes. and that time we had the vision that where we wanted to create homes where people could come and live in and also enjoy the blessing live in harmony and experience excellence. So what we did after that groundbreaking, I remember we had very many shocked faces. <laughs> remember people were looking at us, okay, this is how the villas look like. We were showing them pictures, you're gonna have water parks, you're gonna have dams, and all they could see were rocks. So after we, we did that, we started with the infrastructure. So first we made sure we had the roads, we marked out, and that was the master plan we did. When you looked at the master plan, we were like, how do you chew an elephant? Because Mayan is in 100 acres. You cannot wake up one morning and say, 100 acres is going up and it's going to be developed. So we're like, how do you chew this elephant? And that's where we're like, let's face it. How can we do that we add value in every season of the development? So the first thing we are like, we get the infrastructure done, check. So we got the roads done, we got the sewer lines done, we got electricity in, we got water in. That is in the service, plots, and in the villas. And then the other thing we did was, we are very environmental conscious. We are like, this is not an area that has, has a lot of water harvested. So like, how do we harvest this water? We created dams because it's such a blessed land that when it rains, it rains in abundance. You just create dams and the water comes in. And then the second thing, like, we need to conserve water, so we created a water treatment park. So what we did were, is that we started from the back, the support services that can support where we are going, so that when we start growing and developing all the homes, we have sustenance. So it's not that we are going to develop the homes then try and think what are we going to do on the back end. So that we checked. Then the other thing that we did is that we had the service plots, which you remember that yes, time people yes. are picking up. We stayed to our promise. We landscaped them. We put water and sewer treatment to a point. If someone wants to start building, we've done that for you. Then now we came to the villages. 
and we started doing the villages. And then we were like, if we build a village without the amenities we had promised, what will the homeowners be doing when they come here? You know, we promised them that you're going to be staying in a resort. You're going to be staying in a resort that has grounds, has sports, because we are big on sports. We have said you come to a resort which has horses, which has swimming, which has dam. How we kept this promise when we build the homes. So we actually went into building the tennis courts. We have basketball courts. We have stables where we, can, we are actually now developing the horses to do horse training like an equestrian where you know, you know the show jumping, so you can actually learn a horse in one week. Wow, wow. yeah. So you have something for everyone. Yes. In terms of me as a parent, you have something for me yes. as a parent. For my children. You have something for it. Wow. Okay, let's come back to what is available. Yes. Let's talk about the villas. What do we have in the villas? Okay, so we have the villas. So what we're doing with the villas, you remember we had the concept of village. And the thing about villages is that I remember growing up and going to my grandma. I used to come to go into a beautiful forest and then there was an opening where there was like a settlement of like about 10 houses people have built. Then after that she would tell me like let's go visit uh, there's another long distance auntie of yours or something and she would take me through these beautiful walks in the forest and then you come back into another opening another, another village. village exactly so we were like that is so beautiful so instead of the fences we are used to how about we created villages with nature so we have planted a lot of trees, a lot of shrubs, which create privacy for the homeowner. And then the other thing about the village is that we create the amenities within. So it's only six, and then we make sure that you have lawn, a lawn you can play with. And in this lawn, we also make sure that everyone has access to the lawn. So you have your play spaces and your fun spaces all in the middle. This is what you provided for the outdoor? Yes. And then when you go to the villas, the villas are what you call duplex pool villas. We've gone a step further. Is that to make sure that you have these spaces outdoors because you're big on nature. It's such a beautiful land. Exactly. You want to see the views. We've made sure that every room has a view. So we have balconies of strictly glass. So you actually see outside. You can wake up in the morning, draw your curtains, and there is Mount Kenya smiling at you. I hope it's mine that too when you're with us. It did actually, it did, <laughs> yes. it did, yes. And then, so we have one villa on the ground floor, we have one villa on the top floor. And then what we've done, for you to continue enjoying these scenic views, is we have a rooftop pool lounge. So what the lounge does, it can actually sit about 20, 20 people on each side. And then in the middle you have a plunge pool, about 15 meters, it's actually, for kids it's quite a pool. And then you have a jacuzzi you can soak in on the sunset. Yes, and that is accessible to the homeowners on ground and top. They get to access that. Wow. So what's available now? Have mm. you sold all the villas? What's available? Yes. How, where are we going from here? Yeah. Let's talk about the phase two, the yeah. service plots. Mm. What's available here? What is the first time we came, we opened. You remember the service plots. Yes. People saw where we were going. So they literally bought it to eat. And then that also, you remember, we opened only like half of it half of the service plots. So we have more service plots open because now we have the infrastructures ready. Secondly, the villas, we have some of the villas available. I would say you can buy about 40% of them you can get because it's on top and ground. So what you're calling is a duplex pool villa. Mm -hmm. So it's a three bedroomed villa on the ground floor, a three bedroomed villa on the top floor, and then you have access to the rooftop pool lounge. Phase one is complete. Phase one is complete. We are now preparing for phase two. There's same thing, the same concept and the same thing. We want to provide a lot of value. So now what we are doing is that we are creating the clubhouse. The clubhouse is where we are putting up the 25 meter pool because we are big on sports. And then we are creating the health spas. We need to have spas after you've done bike riding and horse riding and you played all those sports. You need a proper spa. It's only right. And then we have restaurants, some themed restaurants, all to support our homeowners even who are in the service plot and then after that we will go to phase two. Joanne if I buy this beautiful home yeah. and perhaps I will only need it for maybe two weeks every holiday yeah. so six weeks a year what will I do with the house when I'm not staying here? When you're not staying here we rent it out for you. We rent it out because we have Falcon Heights Falcon Heights already an established plan, Falcon Heights Hotel. And we've used that and we've come up with clients who want to stay in such a home when you're not there. 
and so we can be able to rent it out as a villa where people come and stay for their holidays when you are not staying there for your holiday. Yes. Uh, yeah. And Nancy, let's go see the villas Fantastic. now. <laughs> All right. So this is the entrance area. So what we have is that when you enter, you have this common foyer. As I told you, it's a duplex pool villa. So what you have, you have this three bedroom floor on the ground floor, and then you have the upper floor, and then you have the rooftop. So you access them all through this tier. So the ground will go straight here. Mm -hmm. Then the first floor person just comes and walks through the stairs and accesses there. And then you continue to the stairs to the rooftop. Yes, so when you come here, what you have is a place where you can wait on each other, you can chat, you can pick a phone call if you don't want to be inside. So this is our foyer. This is the living room. So this is the ground floor entrance. So when you enter the living room, the first thing you have is that you have your kitchenette. Okay. All right. And then also we provided, you know the way you walk into a house, the first thing you're like, where's the bathroom? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you put your things here yes. and then you can access the bathroom <laughs> and there's even a sink area. Oh, yes. So this being our kitchen, this is a fully fitted kitchen. Mm -hmm. so what it has, every house comes with a microwave mm -hmm. and it comes with an oven. oven. This is part of it. In the fridge. The fridge, we provide it but you can get a longer one. So we've noticed that this, we purpose that this place can fit an actual fridge of okay. the latest one, yes. And then we have a sink area where you have your two sinks. It's always practical, the right and left. And then what we have, we have installed also a cooker. Comes with this. And your cookers are also keyboard in to come into the house. So they are not in your living. Basically my, my gas cylinders. Everything is what in the outdoor and it's piped in. Yes, and also we have provision where we've given you counters that are already fitted. Mm -hmm. All your counters are fitted. And even your, you notice something, a kitchen without a dustbin, we have the simple thing, like your dustbin can just be inside. Oh. Yeah, you see? Yes, yes. You just yes. fit your dustbin there. So then you enter into the living space. So you have your living area. This is your conversation space. And then you have your dining space. So the conversation space, what you have, we're encouraging people to have conversations. So we've hidden our TV on the side. So the TV is more like, I want to watch TV, so it's more I a personal space. <laughs> yes, so it's a personal space. But how we've arranged is that you can enjoy a warm fire as you sit, relax, and have those wholesome conversations. It's actually very beautiful. It looks like a magazine. It <laughs> yes. doesn't look real. It's yes. really, really nice. Yes. And the thing also we realize is that it's good to work with professionals yes. who share in your vision and your dreams. So like the interior, we got a very good it's professional good. who could get our dream and our vision and translate it to what you want. Yes, even the architecture. So it's we realize professionals are very important. You, I always say you yeah. must work yeah. with professionals. Yeah. Yes. It makes your work easier. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But the professionals must be able to translate your vision. And this home has three bedrooms. So it has a master bedroom on your right and then it has this door that you can see leads to two other bedrooms, three bedrooms. Mm -hmm. The thing about it is that we have configured the doors in such a way, this can be a three bedroom villa, it can be a two bedroom villa, it can be a one bedroom villa, and it can even be three bedrooms without access to the lounge. Wow. That is the hospitality value that we add. Let's see the master bedroom. Okay. So this is the master bedroom door. We are now in the master bedroom. Uh -huh. It's a full and suit. Wow. Yes, yeah, so in the master bedroom, we realize we've created spaces. Yes. So what we've done, we've created the bedroom space. 
we've created the study space and we've created the lounge space. They're just those conversations you need to have seated. By the a, fire. By the fireplace, yes. By the fire. And then also the other thing, if you look, all our bedrooms and all our rooms have uh, views and have balconies. Yes, yes. So you can actually sit here and enjoy a sunrise yes. on Lodaiga or Mount wow. Kenya in every of the villas. You have that opportunity. Now, when we walk in through the other door, you see how you can close this master? Yes. And the master does not even have to come in here. Yes. So you go through the two bedrooms through the other door and you can close it completely that the master bedroom person, if he wants a one bedroom house, you can have the master and this space and you don't have to the two bedroom houses. So I show you the two bedrooms or we yes. go first oh, upstairs? See. Let's see the two bedrooms. Okay, let's see the two bedrooms. show you the pool. The second villa? Yes, the second villa and then the pool. Okay. Okay. So we access the second villa through the stairs. So the second villa is exactly like the ground floor <laughs> villa. So the same three bedrooms, the same lanterns, that's the way the three bedrooms. You've seen the top floor villa, yes. so now we'll go to the rooftop. So, you see how you walk into the rooftop? Yes. So it has its own door. As you can see, you climb the stairs, everyone can access the rooftop. Yes. Whether you have the three bedroom downstairs or the top floor. So the rooftop has its own door. So you all get a key to access the rooftop. Yes. Yeah. So this is the rooftop. Okay. So in the rooftop, uh -huh. we have lounge, mm -hmm. and then we have a plunge pool, which is 15 meters, you can see. Yes. So, and from here, we have also a jacuzzi. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this jacuzzi works with hot water, bubbling. So you can even use it as late at night as you want yeah. to. Yeah. And then, the plunge pool, uh -huh. we put it at the end so that when you're sinking in in that plunge pool, can you see the fantastic views yes, you can beautiful. see? Beautiful. Exactly. Beautiful. So I can show you how the lounge is. Yeah. So this is the lounge. So Nancy, as you see there, you can see how what a beautiful view you can see yeah. of Lodaiga. Uh -huh. And we have Mount Kenya, uh -huh. which especially in the morning clears up for the sunset. Uh -huh. And if you look behind us, that's Abadeas. Wow. Oh, yes. Wow. And the sunsets on Abadeas are gorgeous. Fantastic. And if this here, we can host a barbecue for you where we bring out the grill and you can actually host people here. Wow. Yes. So this side can fit about 20 and the other side can also fit about 20. Wow. Yes. Thank you so much, Joanne. <laughs> this is beautiful. With Caribou. And I'm so happy to have had you come here Again. once more yeah. and see the dream alive. Yes. Thank you, Nancy, so much. Asante ah, Sana. Yeah. And that's Mayan luxury homes in a country resort. I must say, they have delivered the promise. Don't go away, we have much more. Mayan is an exclusive development located within the cosmopolitan town of Nanyuki, consisting of exquisite pool villas with majestic views of the Mount Kenya and Loidaga Hills. It is situated 2 kilometers off the Nanyuki Dol Dol Highway and 20 kilometers north of Nanyuki Town. Mayan is easily accessible by a 20-minute flight into Nanyuki Airfield out of Wilson Airport, Nairobi, or by a scenic 3-hour drive out of Nairobi. 
a great investment opportunity in Laikipia County, where one can find all the major banks and shopping amenities. Schools within the area include Braben Nyanyuki International School and Brickwood Schools. There are also university campuses such as Kenyatta University and Karatina University. Hospitals close by include the Nanyuki Cottage Hospital and Nanyuki District Hospital. The objective of the Mayan development is to create a high-quality, fully-serviced environment with a range of activities intended to attract visitors all year round. The development has a dry stone perimeter wall on the frontage with an electric fence. Each compound has a swimming pool, a children's play area, an outdoor barbecue garden area and wild manicured lawns. A central common parking with pathways leading up to the villas, accessible either on foot or using golfing carts provided by the management company. Ample green spaces to be enjoyed by the residents. A restaurant designed to offer high quality hospitality services to residents and visitors. Owners have the option of turning in their villas to be managed by Falcon Heights Management Company. The residents will enjoy water parks, nature trails and a sports center offering basketball, swimming, tennis, a spa. The site has a two-acre training and event square that can host weddings, social and corporate functions, camping, outdoor training and sports activities such as jogging, cycling, horse riding and nature trails. A fully functioning organic farm employing responsible agricultural practices with an aim of becoming an agro-tourism destination. Mayang constitutes of only 20% building footprint, leaving the remaining 80% as natural space. We as the Property Show were involved in this project from the onset of things during the groundbreaking ceremony being built and now occupied. I can confidently say the developers of Mayan have truly delivered the promise. We're taking a short break. When we come back, we'll catch up with the expo that brought together key stakeholders in Laikipia County. Let's hear more after the break. Don't go away. Welcome back. You're watching The Property Show. Today's highlight is on our thrilling tour of Laikipia County. We catch up with Realtors Expo, the organizers of this event, and their take on the real estate outlook of the county. About the expo, first of all, we thought the only factor that can bring all the things together is land. Without land, you can't build, you can't have this mall. Without land, you can't do a lot of things. You can't have food and so many other things. So we thought it's a good opportunity for all realtors to come and showcase themselves. And uh, from various sectors, from the construction to building, to also having the interiors, decorations, from green energy, to solar energy and so many other sectors, all entail. Financial institutions like uh, CFC, who are one of our sponsors, we'd like to appreciate them. The real estate in Laikipia County is coming up well, it's growing steady fast, and uh, some of the factors causing it to grow is that uh, there's peace and tranquility within Laikipia County, and uh, the area is a bit cosmopolitan. It's a transit town on your way to the northern frontier. And I can also say the Lapset project is also part of the, the growth effect. We have 50 kilometers of the Lapset within Laikipia County. And apart from that, there have been uh, many other major developments within the area. I can say some of the establishments like, like Mayan, you can see Mount Kenya Holiday Home. We have Mount Kenya Wildlife Estate. We have green, uh, Hidden Green Estate, which is coming up well. We also have Sweetwater Housing, a resort near Sweetwater or Prajeta. 
it's viable business to come and invest here. And uh, like, for example, in Disco Ventures, where we have various products, we give people a payment plan where they can acquire their property uh, on, a, on a monthly basis without charging them the extra interest rate. And we also have what we call car square and a D square, where an, a person can pay as low as 2,000 shillings per month to own the land. First of all, I believe information is power, or rather knowledge is power. When you have it, you're able to make a lot of decisions, well-informed decisions. I can say most of our exhibitors have the, have the information to lead you, or rather to make you come and invest in like Ipia. Some of them have already done their projects here, and others international, like we can say, we had one company from China. I can say China has come to like Ipia now. You can order your goods and they're here. It's called Asuchi Trading. I'll say thank you so much for believing in the Riata's Expo. As this square, we are humbled and honored to have uh, the UMA, or rather the public, coming visit us. And to our exhibitor, we wish them well. And Karibuni Sida Mall is our new Sida Mall. You don't have to go to Nairobi for, for malls. You can come in and like it here. We shift our focus to the accessory spot with a variety of potted plants herbs and dried flowers, ideal to transform every room. Let's have a look. For me, I work with my clients. I work with what they like. Some people like their offices to look homely. Ideally, it's about aesthetics, what works in terms of someone might want a very big plant in their, in their living room. Someone else may want a small plant uh, in their office. So it's just about working with my clients. People and plants are like individuals. They're like, they're, they're like people and dogs and cats. There are certain plants that you prefer over others. But for me, I think it's, uh, I give recommendations. Some, I'll always recommend my favorite plants. Uh, which are hardy yet beautiful but ideally it's also friendly plants I never recommend anything poisonous of yeah, course yeah. I think it's very important that people do buy uh, plants for their homes their offices just it's it's life it's really life you liven up your own space the clients I have I have right from university students to ministers and, and MPs in terms of the kind of plants I do recommend. I recommend, especially for a homeowner, please start with your outside as you build your home. For the reason is, by the time your home is done, you have, they've grown substantially. Um, if you're doing even fruit trees or a kitchen garden, as your home is being built, you have a harvest, so to speak, almost or almost ready, when your home is ready. We're based in Nanyuki. Um, at the foot of the mountain, we use the best soil. Um, I keep it organic, so nobody needs to panic about uh, using toxic ingredients. I keep it purely organic, I do the work myself. We work with great interior design teams who will guide you in putting the right pieces for your home. Just call on us and we'll be happy to connect you. Later on the show, I will share key factors driving Laikipia County, a preferred investment destination after the coast and Masai Mara. Next, it's that time for another interesting home experience. Let's have a look. When I got married, um, we started thinking hard with my wife. How do we get ourselves settled? How, how, how do we solve ourselves, get ourselves off problems? And we started saving, it didn't work. Uh, we were off employment, both of us. We went into rice business, it didn't work. Uh, we were making 200 shillings 
you know, every week and that was food, it was just difficult. We went into issues of now finding ourselves, we didn't have even fare to go to town, living in uh, Wangige and we couldn't afford to get to town, another challenge. That hit me so hard. I met uh, somebody who was reading a book, actually my brother, and he gave me a book called Cash Flow Quadrant, written by Robert Kiyosaki, and that book just transformed my mind. And that's when I got hit. Mm. Get a prime property and work on it, see how you can get finances, do a building, have a system that will be giving you money. And I got on it seriously. The next job I got in, all I did was take loans. And I would take loans from my bank is Standard Chartered and I would take loans from Standard Chartered and I started from 500,000 and I would just take loans and buy land, loan, land, loan, land. And we had a policy we, 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 with my friends uh, who I call Frico and what we were telling each other is that Chukua loan as long as you don't eat mandazi, as long as you buy property, ah, you're good. And I, I took that statement serious and I went in and uh, took loans and bought land and lad. It got to a point uh, we decided now we need to consolidate. We had all this land, we have no money, salary comes in, goes into paying our loans and uh, we felt the only way to hit ourselves on is now to consolidate everything and see how all this can give us money. And the big question was if today I left employment, where will I get this income? Now that moved us to now deciding we actually have to get to consolidate our property, move into one and do our house. But as we were thinking about doing a house, we said, do we need to do just our house? So we have a house and then here employment, the employer comes in and say, Tuni, you know what? You have to go. So what happens? Do we sell our house or what do we do? And that's when we got in and said, no. Let's go in and do an apartment. But inside the apartment, we do our four bedroom house. After doing the drawings, we went in to look for funds. Before going to look for funds, we first did the first floor, uh, ground floor, and everything was out. We sold all the, all the plots, some uh, assets I had, I sold. And then we went to the bank. And I remember I went to one of the bank to get a loan and they, they say they would give me a loan and it took quite some time to get a loan and uh, there were all these procedures that we went through which were very positive and they were very encouraging but unfortunately they came in and said uh, we can only give you 10 million and we looked at each other and we said okay what will 10 million do we let give us what we need and we realized no we will be cash dropped which is actually a problem that most people get into when they are getting into investment so we decided, no, we will not take this loan. So we actually told the bank, I'm sorry, thank you for the 10 million. Uh, that will not be enough because we wanted like 16 million to actually do the apartment and finish in consolidating our assets and everything. The bank guy looked at us and said, what do you mean? You're turning down 10 million. I said, well, I think where we are headed, we are very clear and we want to get exactly there. And so, with who we are and uh, with uh, our positive mind and focusing right, we decided, fine, let's go out, check out another bank. We went to another bank. They were very kind to us. We discussed, we worked out everything. At that point, I tell you, it's good to be uh, sometimes to be positive and trust God. At that time, the rate was actually very high um, because the rates were going almost 23. If young people can actually pick it up when you get employed, get into investment into property or you get into investment into uh, get into a mortgage system as a way to earn income and use it to pay the loan if you take a loan or at the same time take that uh, property that you buy and in the course of time consolidate and do a line of, uh, of, of income earning projects that will change your life. segment continues sharing the journeys, challenges and advice on home experiences. Do you have an interesting home experience you'd like to share? Just call on us and let's have chai. I'll be glad to engage.
Thank you for watching The Property Show. Before I sign off, let's talk. This week we have been trending and many people have asked me, is Shaba village indeed four hours away from the coast? The answer is yes. With the train from Siokimao, you are sure to be in the coast within four hours. Keep your questions coming on our digital platform and I'll be happy to engage. Let me now share my thoughts on why Laikipia County is an emerging investment frontier becoming attractive to holiday makers, tourists, retirees, property developers, as well as investors. To answer this question, one has to identify the key factors that has positioned Laikipia as a preferred destination after the coast and Masai Mara. The renewed interest in Laikipia is not entirely without some historical basis since the pre-independence period. Laikipia has always been known for attracting famous names who come here for leisure, hunting and holiday. The Mount Kenya Safari Club and Al Pejeta Ranch are some of the properties known to have changed ownership between famous movie stars and multi-millionaires. For several years consecutively, New York Times has rated Laikipia County as one of the most attractive places to visit in the world. I believe some of the factors driving Laikipia County include fantastic climate. Laikipia lies on the floor of two of the most important water towers in the country, Abadeas and Mount Kenya. After the Maasai Mara, Laikipia has the best natural ecosystem and biodiversity, including the largest variety of wildlife. Laikipia is very cosmopolitan and is home to many of Kenya's ethnic groups and thereby making it a welcoming county. Finally, its strategic location on the Northern Transport Corridor, Lapset and the soon to be opened Isiolo International Airport gives it an additional advantage. it for today. Share your thoughts, questions on our social media platform. Thank you for watching. See you next Sunday as we lead you to new investment frontiers. As always, there is something for everyone. Kwaheri!